Hey guys, I'm CK. Just a couple of days ago, I bought a brand new PC to replace my laptop. I just bought a new PC online from HP and I just got the package. I remember the last time I was using a PC was back in year 2000, which is more than 20 years ago. The question is, why do people still buy a PC? Let me explain. Laptop is small and it's all being agile and it has all the features that we need to perform the tasks that we need and even the gamers are using laptop to, for gaming purpose and some of the laptops even come with touch screen feature so it's very common and comprehensive however laptop is not cheap and the most recent trend which i noticed that manufacturers are stripping off some of the laptop specs to cut costs for example they are giving you a smaller hard disk size and even remove the DVD drive but I think it makes sense because now we have faster internet access and everything is stored in cloud on top of that they also minimizing the number of ports and even remove the slot of the network cable that's why you see people are using dongle for the extra ports that's how the manufacturers are keeping their laptop design being sleek light and they even build it with an aluminum body to make the laptop more robust and looks more premium so they can charge higher and to maximize their profit you have the options to buy the cheapest laptop in the market but these cheap laptops are in low spec it's slow it's not able to handle complicated tasks and usually made out of plastic and it doesn't last long if your work involves in programming, video, photo editing and even for gaming, definitely you need high spec machine and you need to spend some money on it. High end premium laptops, usually these laptops are in sleek design. Because of that, they have limited space to fit the hardware. So you will only have one hard disk and limited number of CPU cores. And most of the time, you need to carry a dongle for the extra ports and the network cable. My old laptop was a HP Pavilion which I bought back in 2017 when I was still in Hong Kong. It cost me 10,000 Hong Kong dollars which is almost 5,000 ringgit. And it comes with i7 4 core processor, 16GB RAM 1TB hard disk with 4GB Nivea GPU. I think the specs are quite high at a reasonable price. Believe it or not, I don't think you were able to get the same spec at the same price tag. The reason why is manufacturers are replacing it with aluminium bodies, strip off the specs, make it slicker as premium laptop and charge for another 30 to 40% higher. Unfortunately, this is the trend now. Because of the pandemic, we are changing the way we used to live. Like me, I'm spending more time working from home, doing all kinds of stuff at home. So I was thinking it makes sense to switch to PC. I believe this is a keyboard. The most important thing is this machine. I bought this PC from HP. Under the cover, it is running on an Intel i7 10th generation processor with 8 cores, upgraded to the RAM and hard disk. Now the RAM is running at 16 gig. There are two hard disks, 500 GB and one Tera. GPU is 2 gig from Nivea. It comes with a mouse and a keyboard and it cost me around 4,000 ringgit. This is absolutely a bargain compared to a high spec laptop. When I was shopping for PC, I did consider the Dell PC. Almost same specs as HP, the processor is i7-8 cores, 11th generation processor. It's even cheaper than HP. However, there were many complaints and bad reviews on Dell's PC. Eventually, I decided to pay more to get the HP with the 10th generation i7. I don't mind to pay more for reliability and better support. HP definitely is a more trusted brand. The PC is currently stored under the table and I have been using the PC for almost a week. Starting out the PC is quite quick and smooth and I noticed I didn't hear any noise from the PC. So I would say the PC is very quiet. It's running on Windows 10, editing video is very smooth. The design of the casing is very simple and small. I think it looks good on the desk but I prefer to put it under the desk. I thought that the PC is going to be heavy because it's i7 8 cores which might need bigger fan for better cooling and two hard disks but I'm really surprised that it's lighter than what I expected. 
If we are allowed to travel again and it is safe to travel, I would still want to buy a new laptop with lower specs such as an Intel i5 with 8GB RAM. Laptop is still a need for traveling. As a conclusion, switching from laptop to PC is mainly because I'm staying at home more often and I need new machine for video and photo editing and I do not want to pay premium price for a laptop so getting a PC is the best decision which I have made